Hello students, my name is Niyati Said and thanks for watching Edipedia Word videos. My topic for the presentation is the 10th section of circulatory system that is heart disorders. Okay, so we'll study here all the blood related disorders. Okay. Have you ever thought what are the causes of heart diseases? First is the aging. As people age, their cardiovascular system becomes very weaker. That means their cardiovascular system, it becomes weaker with the age. Okay. Second is genetics. The person may have a hereditary problem. That means a people who have direct family members that have had heart diseases are at the higher risk of developing it themselves. Another major cause of heart disease is lifestyle. Expects of everyday life from work stress to lack of exercise and tension can increase the risk of heart diseases to many folds. Okay. Tension is uh, directly proportional to the heart diseases. Okay. Smoking. Smoking, as we know, that uh, cigarette has nicotine in it and the carbon monoxide. So, these two increases the heart rate and thus it lowers the oxygen level, level in heart muscles and can cause thrombosis. Okay. Another major cause of heart disease is diabetes. Hypertension and blood glucose can lead to angiosclerosis and thus it damages to tunica intima. Okay. Another major cause is uh, diet. Food rich in fat, cholesterol, salt, sugar as well as uh, food contain, uh, that contains alcohol, it increases the risk of angiosclerosis and atherosclerosis that can cause high blood pressure because I have told you that more salt, that means Na plus ions, it uh, deposits on the arteries and it does it retains the water also okay and thus it makes the uh, elasticity of the arteries very low okay and that's uh, what that condition is known as atherosclerosis so these are the causes of heart diseases men are three to five times more likely to develop heart diseases than women okay the causes of the heart valve disorders will study here okay so there are number of causes for the different heart valve disorders causes may include birth defects infective endocarditis that means inflammation of the heart tissue endocarditis means the tissues of uh, the internal tissues of the heart okay their inflammation takes place and that is known as infective endocarditis okay rheumatic fever that means it is an inflammatory disease that brought on by group a streptococcal infection okay there are various age related changes such as calcium deposits heart attacks also all these are the uh, causes okay that causes uh, for heart wall disorder coronary uh, artery diseases that means i told you now uh, that uh, when the arteries arteries they become narrower or it becomes harder so uh, um, thus atherosclerosis takes place and this develops coronary artery diseases cardiomyopathy it is a degenerative changes in the heart muscle syphilis syphilis is a relatively rare sexually transmitted infection so it is a std okay hypertension this is also known as high blood pressure auritic aneurysm Simmers, uh, that is an abnormal swelling or bulging of the aorta which is the largest artery which is uh, connected with the heart directly connected with the heart okay heart wall disorders there are 
three types of disorders uh, three types of valve disorders first is your mitral valve prolapse we know that bicuspid valve is there bicuspid valve is also known as mitral valve prolapse mitral valve so when it prolapses then that condition is known as mitral valve prolapse this may also be called as floppy valve syndrome click murmur syndrome balloon mitral valve or barlow syndrome it occurs when the mitral valve does not close properly that means when the bicuspid valve it doesn't close properly and sometimes it causes blood to flow back into the left auricle most people with mitral valve prolapse do not experience symptoms and do not require treatment as a result there is another a uh, heart wall disorder that is your vulvar stenosis this occurs when a wall is not able to open completely which means that uh, not enough blood is able to flow through the wall and this can occur in any of the heart walls and may be caused by the heart wall thickening or stiffing okay vulva regurgitation okay this may also be called as leaky valve that means uh, it occurs when any of the heart walls do not close properly uh, and causes blood to flow backward okay now comes disorders of the circulatory system or the blood related disorders first is your hypertension an increase in blood pressure above normal level that is above 150 to 110 mmhg of uh, is known as hypertension what are the effects that are responsible uh, extremely high blood pressure of about 220 to 120 mm hd may cause rupturing of blood vessels of eyes that causes blindness it can also called nephritis or you can say the kidney related problems it can also call uh, can it can also cause a stroke or paralysis hypertension is often called as silent killer as a person may suffer from it for several years without any symptoms okay and what are the causes of the hypertension uh, old age arteriosclerosis atherosclerosis that means when the elasticity of the arteries becomes very low it becomes uh, arteries become very hardened okay vasoconstriction excess weight heavy smoking intake of cholesterol rich diet physical or emotional stress increased uh, secretion of renin epinephrine and aldosterone see these are the causes of the hypertension okay there is another term that is known as hypotension hypotension is uh, just the opposite of hypertension hypotension uh, in hypotension decrease in the blood pressure below the normal level takes place that is below 100 to 1 uh, to uh, 50 mm of hg okay this is called as hypotension causes of hypotension are failure in neural and hormonal control which adjusts the arterial diameters and precapillaries sphincters vasodilation severe bleeding diseases like tb cancers anemia etc okay this i told you that what are the causes of the high blood pressure for most people the causes of the high blood pressure is not known this is known as essential or primary hypertension but while the causes is not known it is clear that various conditions and behaviors make high blood pressure more likely okay and uh, what are the known uh, risk factors so uh, i told you heavy smoking being overweight uh, diet with the high salt intake high blood pressure family history of the high bp high uh, alcohol consumption etc okay so uh, there are various things that um, causes hypertension race gender genes environmental factors such as inactivity stress obesity tobacco age salt and alcohol okay 
Now comes the second disorder. This is known as angina. Okay, angina pectoris. Okay, angina pectoris. It refers to the heaviness and the pain in the chest as a result reduced blood flow to the cardiac muscle due to narrowed and hardened coronary arteries. Person may also experience pain in neck. Lower jaw, left arm, and left shoulder. Okay, angina pectoris is often results due to over exertion during which uh, demand for oxygen uh, by the heart cannot be met due to narrowed blood vessels, and the symptoms may disappear with the rest. Okay, so this and it is very commonly seen among middle-aged and elderly people. Okay, so it is an acute chest pain, or um, it refers to the very heaviness and the pain in the chest as a result of reduced blood flow to the cardiac muscles due to narrowed and hardened coronary arteries. Okay, now comes. CAD. What is CAD? CAD is a coronary heart disease or atherosclerosis. Okay. Coronary artery disease also called as atherosclerotic heart disease which refers to the condition such as atherosclerosis that causes narrowing of coronary arteries that results in reduced blood flow to the heart. It is caused by the deposits of calcium, fat, cholesterol and fibrous tissues. This results in coronary heart disease, a condition in which heart muscles or the myocardium is damaged due to inadequate supply of blood and depending on the degree of abstraction and depending on the degree of the abstraction symptoms may be mild chest pain which we call it as angina pectoris which we have just read okay just before CAD or heart attack heart attack is known as myocardial infarction okay and the removal of the blockage of an artery by balloon surgery is known as angioplasty okay so um, what happens uh, in a CAD or atherosclerosis see this these are the coronary arteries on the surface of the heart these are the coronary arteries this is the zoom view of the coronary artery this is the normal coronary artery uh, and the normal blood flow is seen in it okay but uh, in this uh, due to deposition of the calcium and fat cholesterol and fibrous tissue in the coronary arteries see these are the depositions of calcium fat and cholesterol so the vessel has be become very narrowed okay and this deposition is known as plaque okay so this is known as plaque and thus it causes the uh, the narrowing of the coronary arteries results in the blood flow reduced blood flow to the heart and uh, this results in coronary heart disease a condition in which heart muscle or myocardium myocardium are the heart muscles they are damaged due to the inadequate supply of blood and depending on the degree of abstraction how much the plaque is deposited uh, symptoms may be mild chest pain which we call it as myo um, uh, angina pectoris or heart attack which we call it in the scientific term as myocardial infarction okay and uh, sometime it is seen that these plaques they cover the entire uh, whole of the arteries so uh, removal of the blockage of an artery uh, by balloon surgery is called as angioplasty okay what it is called as it is called as angioplasty okay and um, always know one thing that accumulation of uh, such substances such as fatty substances calcium or fibrous tissues uh, and cholesterol they 
they uh, lead to the formation of atherosclerotic plaque this is your plaque okay and this decreases the size of the lumen arterial lumen and thus it uh, causes reduced blood flow to the artery okay and the removal of the blockage of an artery by the balloon surgery is known as angioplasty okay see this is your normal artery in which the normal blood is flowing this is the artery cross section and this is when the plaque has deposited inside the arterial lumen and this caused the uh, narrowing of the artery and thus reduced blood flows this is the cross section of the artery uh, cad artery that means coronary heart disease artery in this plaque has deposited and this has decreased the arterial lumen and thus it reduced the blood flow of the, to the heart also okay now comes heart failure heart failure is also known as congestive heart failure okay this is also known as congestive heart failure it is generally defined as progressive weakening of the heart muscles and the failure of heart to pump blood effectively to meet the needs of body hypertension it increases the amount of load on the heart this results in significant enlargement of the heart which finally results in heart failure heart failure is also called as congestive heart failure because congestion of the lungs is one of the main symptoms of this disease now what are the factors that are responsible uh, for the degeneration of the heart muscles and the heart failure include advanced age malnutrition chronic infections toxins severe anemia or hyperthyroidism okay and heart failure is not the same as cardiac arrest cardiac arrest is when the heart stops beating or the heart attack when the heart uh, muscles are suddenly damaged by an inadequate blood supply so it should uh, heart failure should not be confused with the cardiac arrest and the heart attack okay so this is a condition in which heart is not pumping blood enough to meet the needs of the body okay and this is the congestion of the lung is the major symptom of the congestive heart failure heart failure is not same as cardiac arrest i am again repeating repeating and it is not same as that of heart attack okay so don't get confused heart failure with the cardiac arrest or heart attack okay another uh, disorders are stroke aortic aneurysm and arrhythmias okay a stroke just as an interruption of blood flow to the heart causes heart attack and interruption of blood flow to the brain causes a stroke and that is called as brain attack okay now what now what comes is aortic aneurysm an abnormal enlargement or the bulging of the wall of the aorta the largest which is the largest blood vessels vessel in the body okay so that becomes very enlarged or bulgy okay then that condition is known as aortic aneurysm now comes arrhythmias this is the disorder of the heart rhythm that includes bradycardia when heart beats become very slow tachycardia when the heart beats too quickly okay and arterial fibrillation and altogether irregular heartbeat so these conditions are known as arrhythmias okay now comes peripheral vascular disease it is a progressive disorder that narrows blood vessels beyond the heart and brain and on the periphery or the extremities of the body especially or primarily in the pelvis region legs and arms okay so these were the disorders of the heart or uh, blood related disorders so thank you and keep watching edupedia word videos